Hello Rail fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building this Via Rail at 40PH 2D locomotive. And this one is different than other variations on the F40PH. You can see over here that we have another F40PH. And the normal one has the angled back and the back porch. But on this one, the back comes right to the end and there's no porch. And it's also flat on back. So it's slightly different than the other ones we built. So let's get right into the build here. So as usual, we're gonna start off with the rear coupler. So take a dark oak stair and attach that up. Under it, a sideways dark oak fence gate here. Then on the next block forward, on the upper hip box of the bottom block, we need to go three wide in the middle with black stone brick slabs. And then a black stone brick block on each outer edge. Then five polished black stone brick blocks coming across the top here. Then in front of it in the middle, we're gonna do a three block tall T shape in the center. Then put a lantern on either side of this second layer. And in front of that, we'll do a five by three of polished black stone brick block coming out to each side of the tracks here. Then we're gonna put three black stone brick slabs coming up this gap for stairs here. And come over to the other side and do the same thing, three over here. Then we'll come next to the coupler. On either side of the coupler, we're gonna put a sideways dark oak fence gate. And then on each outer edge, we're gonna open a mangrove fence gate. Then on this very top edge, we're gonna go five wide with oak slabs. And then we're gonna put a warp fence gate on each corner. Next, come in front of this on bottom, and we're gonna put a dark oak fence gate above each rail. In front of that, we'll do a netherite wheel on each rail. And then in the center, another brick block, another brick slab, then two fence gates, then another brick slab, and another brick block. Then we'll put another right wheel here and here. And then a fence gate in front of either of those wheels. And then on the gap between it on each side, we're gonna put a row of four horizontal lightning rods right above the rail here. And then same thing on this side here. And then we'll go through and put a hopper on the side of all four of the wheels. Then we're going to crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And then same thing on the other side, one on each of these two hoppers. Then we'll go back to black stone brick block on the top middle of the second layer and do a line coming forward till you're aligned with these fence gates. Then a full row of fence gates on the side of it up here and then a full row on this side over here. Then we'll come in front of this, on this bottom right hand side, we'll put a string in this gap. And on this right hand side, we need to do a two by two of sideways anvils right here. Then come over to the middle, and right here we're gonna do two rows of three polished deep slate walls coming out to the side. Then on the top left, a two by two of walls here, then two black stone brick blocks in the center. Then on this side of it, we'll add two more fence gates right here. Then we're gonna come on the top and crouch. And above these two anvils, we're gonna put a sideways fence gate above each one. Then we'll do the fuel tank. So come in front of this on the bottom with black stone brick block and go three wide in the middle and extend that out seven blocks forward. So a three by seven. Then we'll put a row of upside down black stone brick stairs on the side of it. And then a row of upside down stairs on this side. Then we'll come on the second layer and we can just go ahead and fill in the whole top of this fuel tank five blocks wide with polished black stone brick block. And just get that all filled in. Then we'll come in front of this in the middle and do a two by two of polished black stone brick block in the center. Then we're gonna do a two by two of blast furnaces on the side of it and on the other side as well. Now we'll come in front of this on the bottom and put a fence gate above each rail. In front of that, a set of netherite wheels 
and in the middle another brick block, another brick slab, then two fence gates, another brick slab, and another brick block. Then we'll put another right wheel here and here, and a fence gate in front of each of those. Then on this gap above the rail, we'll put four sideways lightning rods here, and four sideways lightning rods here. Then come through and put a hopper on the side of all four wheels. Then we'll crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And same thing on this side. Then take out black stone brick blocks again on this top middle and run a line up the front to your line with these fence gates. And on the side of it, a full row of fence gates here. Come to the other side and do a full row of fence gates here. Now we're going to come in front of this and do a three block tall T shape of black stone brick blocks in the center. Then put a torch on either side of the second layer. Then on the bottom middle in front of it, three black stone brick stairs facing forward and an upside down stair facing outward on either side. Above it, we do a block in the middle and two upside down stairs on either side of that. Then we're going to come behind here with black stone brick slabs and we're going to put one slab here and one here. And we do the same thing on the opposite side. We'll put a slab here and here. Then we'll come up here and take out oak slabs on this very top hitbox and we'll go five wide with oak slabs on top. Then take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and stack it up to the middle second block. Under it, a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then we're gonna put a dark oak fence gate on either side of the coupler and open a mangrove one at each outside edge. Then put a warp fence gate on either of the top corners there. Next, take out polished deep slate slabs and we're gonna come stand on this and crouch and put a single slab above all four of these hoppers. Then we're gonna move one hitbox down and put one here, one here, and same thing on this side. Then we have to repeat that for the rear truck, so come back here and crouch. A single slab on top of all four hoppers. Then move a hitbox down, one here, one here. Same thing on this side over here. Then we'll take polished deep slate blocks, and we're gonna put two polished deep slate blocks on the middle of the truck. Same thing, two here. And repeat it on this side, two here. And then finally, two here. Then we're gonna grab iron trap doors. And we're gonna put four iron trap doors across here. And on the middle of the side, two dark oak fence gates. Repeat it up front, so two fence gates, four trap doors. And then we gotta get the other side. So do the same thing over here. And one more corner to go. Do the same thing back here. Then we're gonna put a skeleton skull above each wheel. Same thing on this side. Then get the front truck, a skeleton skull above each of these wheels. And get the other side. Then we'll come back up here and crouch. And we're gonna put a sideways lightning rod here and here. Then one here and one here. And then we'll repeat it at the back truck. So one here and here, and same thing on this side over here. Now we'll detail the fuel tank. So we're gonna come on the side of the fuel tank at the front of it, one block back from the front of it. And we're gonna change this top block to an upside down stair. Then in front of it, a mangrove button, skip a block back, a wither skeleton skull, then here, we're gonna do a mangrove sign and a mangrove button above it. Then we repeat it on this side. So a button here, change this to an upside down stair, skip a block, wither skeleton skull, and back here, a sign and a button. Then take out polished black stone brick block, come on this third layer, and on the top middle, we're gonna go three wide with it, and we're gonna bring that all the way down to the other end of the locomotive, so it's all filled in on this layer three wide. Then once we've done that, we're gonna take out oak slabs and we're gonna come on this top outside edge and do a full line of slabs up here, coming all the way down to the back. 
and then we repeat it on this side. So on this upper hitbox, a full line of oak slabs, and bring it all the way down to the other end here. And now the base of the locomotive's done, and we can come up front to start working on the nose. We're gonna come on top of the nose with cyan concrete, and we're gonna do two rows of five across the front, then three on the top middle, and a black stone brick slab on each of these corners. Then come behind it and do a column of three cyan concrete here, three on this side, then come across this top, and then cover the whole top of this in black carpet. Then we're gonna come behind this on the bottom of each outside edge, and we're gonna put four yellow wool coming back on each side. On the next layer, two cyan concrete, and then two yellow wool on each side. On the next layer, three cyan concrete, and then one yellow wool. Then we'll come up here, and we're gonna do two gray stained glass blocks coming across here, right behind the carpet, then a black stone brick block, and two more stained glass blocks. Then we'll put a black stone brick block behind it on either side, and two gray stained glass panes. Then a white stained glass pane here, and on this side for the mirrors. Then come behind this on bottom, and we're gonna do two upside down oak stairs facing outward on either side. And then we'll put a door here and a door here. Now we'll move down and start from the back end here. And we're gonna take out light gray shulker boxes and we're gonna do two rows of three in the middle on the very back, like that. And then we need to grab light gray concrete and put two light gray concrete on either of these back corners. Then we're gonna move back up by the doors here and put two yellow wool on the bottom of each side and then a full row of light gray concrete coming down and stop one block before the end, put a door here. Then we'll do a door on this side and then a full row of light gray concrete coming up the bottom of this side. Then above this at the front, behind the door, we'll do four yellow wool on each side. And then behind that, a full row of light gray concrete coming down to the back. And then same thing on this side, a full row of light gray concrete here. And then we'll come on top of this right behind the door and just do a full row of yellow wool coming back all the way to the very back and then come across the back and then we'll come all the way back up this side here. Just like that. Now we're gonna come down to the back and put five cyan concrete across the back. In front of it on each side, a single bedrock and then a single cyan concrete. In front of that, on each side, we do five deep slate tile walls coming forward. And then three cyan concrete on each side. Then, in front of that on each side again, we're gonna do another five deep slate tile walls coming forward. And then we'll do three cyan concrete on either side again. then three deep slate tile walls, and then three cyan concrete. Then we'll come down by this door. Under these stairs, we're gonna put a fence gate right here, and then we're gonna do a column of four iron bars on either side of this door. Then come where we put this stair in the fuel tank here. Right above that, knock out these two and put a door, and put two iron bars on either side of it. Then come to this back door, and we'll do a column of four iron bars on either side of this and repeat it on this side. So do four iron bars on either side of this. Then come where the stair is in the fuel tank on this side, knock out these two and put in a door. Two iron bars on either side of it. Come up here, a fence gate below these stairs and a column of four iron bars on either side of this door. Then we're gonna come up top with polished black stone brick block. Start above the windshield and go three wide in the center. 
and we're gonna bring that all the way across the top to the back so that the whole roof gets built in here. And just keep it coming here, right down to the very back, just like that. Next, on this top outside edge, starting at the back, we're gonna put two black stone brick blocks on either side and two rows of five polished black stone slabs across the top here. Then, we're gonna come through and everywhere there's deep slate tile walls, we're gonna put outward facing deep slate tile stairs above all the walls. And then repeat it on this side, just everywhere there's walls, but deep slate tile stairs above them. Then we'll switch to black stone brick stairs and we'll fill in all these gaps between them with polished black stone brick stairs and bring it all the way up to the front here. And then of course we do the same thing on this side here and fill in all these gaps. Then come in the center on top of the back right in front of this and make a plus shape of polished black stone slabs. Then a second connected one and put a trap door in the center of each. Then we'll switch to deep slate tile slab, put two here in the middle, two polished black stone slabs on either side, and two rows of three coming across in front of it. Then skip a block forward, do another plus shape with a trap door in the center here. Then we skip one block forward in front of that fan in the center, knock out this block, put in a cauldron, and put three polished black stone slabs on either side, and two in the middle here. In front of that, we'll do a three by four of dark oak trap doors coming forward. Then come above the cab, put two polished black stone slabs in the middle right here. Then on each of these front corners, open a fence gate here and here, and a sideways fence gate behind each one. Then we need to grab a lantern, and we'll put a lantern on the center right here. Now come down on the front, and we're gonna put a glow item frame here and here with frog lights. Above it in the middle, we're gonna do a warp sign and we're gonna type VIA, hit it with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then on the right hand side of it, a mangrove button. Then we'll come on the side of the cab here, put a warp sign right here with our number, which is gonna be 6419. Hit that with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then we'll do the same thing on this side, so a sign here with 6419, hit it with white dye and a glow ink sack again. Then we're gonna come up above the windows with a dark oak sign, and on either side we'll do a sign with 6419. Then we'll hit both of those with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then we'll do the rear end here. So we'll come to the back, and on each top corner back here, We'll do a dark oak sign with 6419. Hit both of those with white dye and then a glow ink sack. Then right here, we're gonna put a glow item frame with a frog light. Next, we need to make a banner. So we're gonna come into a loom with a black banner and yellow dye. And we're gonna put a horizontal on the top and the middle, then switch to light gray dye and put a horizontal on bottom finally put a black border around it. And this is for the unique three headlights. So I'll put that right on the center of the nose here. Then we're gonna come back into a loom with a light gray banner and yellow dye. We're gonna put a diagonal, vertical on the left. New banner, vertical in the center. New banner, a vertical on either side. Then a horizontal on the top in the middle. And we'll surround all three of those with a light gray border. Then we're gonna do a light gray banner in red dye. We're gonna put a diagonal, then the opposite diagonal, then a vertical in the middle. Then switch to light gray dye, and we're gonna make the bottom half light gray. And finally, a light gray border around it. And then we'll come place this. So we're gonna come right back here behind these iron bars, put this red one here, and use the rest to spell out via. Then we'll come to this side, right in front of the iron bars, spell out via right here, 
and then put this red one on. And now we'll work on the interior here. So we'll go ahead and come on in through this cab door here, and we're gonna take out polished andesite slabs. We're gonna put three across where the doors are here, another three behind them, then on each side behind it, a staircase of polished andesite stairs coming down. Then come up here and just fill this whole floor in with the slabs. Do a row of double slabs under the windshield here. Right here we'll put a netherite with two levers. Then on this center, a glow item frame and a compass. Turn around, put a stair on either side for seats. Then behind the door, we're going to put two blast furnaces in the middle and a door on either side. Then we'll come through here and work on the engine compartment. In the middle right here, we're going to take wax cut copper and go three down the middle and bring it up to the top. Then we'll do a line of nine sideways anvils down the center. And above that, nine netherite blocks. Then we'll come through on the side and on every netherite block, put a dark oak button. Same thing on this side. A full row of dark oak buttons here. Then we'll come on top of this and do another row of sideways anvils. Then we'll come up front on the top and we're going to do four netherite and then polish deep slate walls to the back. Then we'll come down here on bottom and we're going to do a two by two of sideways end rods. Then right here, two columns of three smooth stone blocks. Up here, a hopper and a brewing stand. Then three polished deep slate walls here, come back to two smooth stone under it. Then three smooth stone and two, and then make that one come up and do two hoppers right here. And now our interior is all completed. So there we have it folks. We've completed our via rail at 40 pH 2D. I hope everyone enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.